Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going to go out to both South Philly and South Florida for this quick hitter edition and talk about Skinny Joey Merlino and the bikers and some uh, reporting that I've been doing lately. Um, and this really has nothing directly to do with the alleged uh, arson fires that uh, happened in, at his soon to be Philly cheesesteak spot. Um, I'm not really going to comment on that until we know more. Um, but in the greater context of things it's pretty clear to me now after talking to a number of law enforcement um all all three of the alphabet agencies um as well as some some street guys in the biker world that joey merlino has the full support and very very right at this point very very close personal ties with the highest level of biker shot callers in all three of the major Midwest East coast biker clubs, the pagans who we know he's ha had a long time relationship with, but what we didn't know until now is that he has built very, very deep, strong links in more recent years with the hell's angels and the outlaws. So you have a situation where these three motorcycle clubs, which are the, you know, the heavyweights of all heavyweights, they can't get along with each other, but they seem to all agree on the fact that they love Joey Merlino. Um, talk to some people that have said, you know, these guys are just enamored by him um, and they want to have his back. Uh, so we, we've always known that Merlino has been tied to the pagans uh, back in the nineties, you know, you know, part of his power base was that, Allegiance he had from the pagans in Philadelphia, which at that time uh, were running the whole country. Uh, the gorilla, Stephen Montevergine, very close friend of Joey's. He was the national president. Um, now he's the Philadelphia president, and he is one of the top lieutenants to, you know, at this point in time, the most high profile biker boss, at least in the United States, pagans national president in in the 2020s, Keith Conan, the barbarian Richter, uh, who's coming out of prison soon. And Richter installed a uh, gorilla uh, back into a, a leadership post. And both, Mer what I'm told, both Merlino and the Philadelphia crime family have really reaffirmed ties with the pagans in Philadelphia, uh, as well as behind bars. I, I want to I should have st stated this earlier, but I want to be clear that my reporting in terms of Merlino right now doesn't have anything to do with criminal activity. I'm not being told that he's doing rackets with the Hells Angels or the Pagans or the Outlaws. Uh, I'm told he's doing a lot of socializing with them and a lot of in areas where, like, if you know, you know, and being seen with these guys is starting to filter into the um, into the ether with people that are following, you know, the American mob uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, both law enforcement and guys on the street. So and it's just really interesting to note that down in Florida, where Joey's keeping, you know, his, the, his main residence uh, in Boca Raton, it appears that he's become very, very good friends with one of the most powerful Hells Angels um, there is, um, I don't really feel comfortable naming him right now, uh, but he's one of the top guys, you know, in the organization, um, both in North America, as well as globally, he has a place down in Boca, him and Joey have been running around together, um, not so secretly, uh, out in the open, having dinners together, having drinks together, smoking cigars together over the last couple of years, um, if possibly a shorter period of time. Uh, and then I'm told through some, it, you know, intermediaries, uh, guys he met through prison and, and whatnot, he has uh, developed some very strong ties to the outlaws uh, and specifically guys that are loyal to uh, the current outlaw uh, alleged international president, uh, Tommy O out in Western New York, as well as 
the OG of all OGs uh, in prison right now, Milwaukee Jack, uh, John Roz, uh, Rosga, Milwaukee Jack Rosga, who coming out of prison relatively soon. Um, and with Tommy O uh, dealing with his own legal problems, there's talk that Milwaukee Jack could be taken back to the president's post. Anyway, guys that are close to Jack uh, have developed close relationships with Joey down in Florida and are, are socializing. Uh, Joey, I, I'm told, uh, made a reference to some Hells Angels on his podcast recently. And, you know, you can read the tea leaves. And, and again, I'm not going to try to do too much speculating here. But this, these newfound relationships and connections and support alliances, if you will, again, nothing criminally. Um, but in terms of what we've been talking about with Merlino over the last year, his podcasting endeavors, the issues that, the, you know, his desire to develop this social media influencer brand and the podcast has caused with uh, allegedly some guys in New York City, as well as guys in his own crime family. The fact that he can point to Hells Angels bosses, Outlaws bosses, and Pagans bosses as guys that have his back really colors a lot of this up and maybe gives you an idea of why he feels so emboldened and empowered with the way that he's been behaving. So that's my reporting on that. We'll keep you updated. And when we know more about the uh, arson attacks in South Philly, we'll be coming at you uh, with, with uh, you know, the latest analysis and breaking news. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod. I'm out.